Hey, it's just me, Jen Kim, and thanks for stopping by my very small kitchen in Hoboken, New Jersey. If you're watching my Jen Kim CAD vlog, thank you so much, but this video is not about adoptees, it's about cooking, although we do have groups for cooking with adoptees, which is pretty great. Um, I just made this video, I thought it would be fun. Um, I love the new music, it is called Birthday Cake, um, which is appropriate for a food video. Uh, I've been obsessed with Soul Searching, the movie, saw it last week, seeing it again tonight. Thank you, Michael Benziger, for the free voucher. Um, and it takes place in 1986, so a lot of memories for me there. Um, so today I'm talking about zoodles because a lot of people have been asking about them. I've been Instagramming them, I've been loving them, uh, so just wanted to do a real quick demo about that to answer some questions. Been trying to eat healthier lately. I'm going to Korea in about 30 days. Um, going to Jeju, which is the Hawaii of Korea. Can't wait. Trying to get back into an Armani bikini. Might be kind of tough. Uh, this picture is from a while ago, let's be honest. But um, who knows? There's still some time to be fit and eat healthier, and I've been enjoying that. There are some times when temptation is a little too much. Korean barbecue, for example, of course. American barbecue as well, but I have been eating healthier lately and going to the gym. I love spinning, uh, jogging, things like that, so it's been good. So let's just get started. So here's what we've got. We've got three zucchini. We have the veggetti, amazing, you'll see in a minute. Parmesan cheese, uh, sliced shallots and garlic pre-sliced, you do not want to see me cut anything, trust me, and white clam sauce right out of the can. So we're going to start with spiraling, which is fun, and easier than you might expect. We've got the thick side and the thin side. We're going to go with the thick side, and go ahead. When you get closer to the end, there's this handy little thing so you don't cut off your fingers. Just poke it in here. And keep going. So that is it. And you get very little waste here. Probably could have gone a little bit further, but I'm just going to save my fingers. And you get these cute little spirally things, which I actually give to Humphrey. He enjoys them. And then you have all of these noodles, zucchini noodles, really quickly. Uh, I've heard people buying them in the store already spiraled. Um, I feel like it's so much cheaper to do this. Uh, I got these three zucchini at the Hoboken Farmer Market yesterday. I think they were two, three dollars or something. Um, so that's pretty great. So let's just whiz through the rest of them. So there we go, we got lots and lots of zoodles, totally easy. People ask if they broke apart, I find that they don't, it's kind of amazing. Um, Humphrey got into the bowl once and dragged this entire thing across the room, um, so that was fun. But yeah, so I'm a big fan of the clean as you go theory, otherwise in this small kitchen it's going to get just crazy. So of course during the break I um, cut myself, of course, because this happens all the time. Uh, very sad I don't have Hello Kitty bandages anymore, it would have been much cuter. Um, but we're out, but the show must go on as always. So you got some really sharp teeth in here. Just be careful when you're cleaning up. All right, so cooking time. Just a little olive oil to keep it from sticking. Gotta get back to Trader Joe's and get some of that cool, real extra virgin olive oil. If someone can explain to me in the comments maybe the differences between the real extra virgin and the not real, it's been a little confusing in the news lately, but we'll just spread this around a bit. And drop some in. We like salt and pepper. I timed this last time to get it to about the tenderness that I wanted, so it took about five minutes. Time, we're just going to drop in the clam sauce so it can heat at the same time and that is it for this one that is pretty simple for option one so we're sizzling away here doing well time is going to go off in just a few seconds and we will be done 
it. Just gonna grab some here. Let's grab some of these clams while we're at it too. And hooray! Dish number one, all done. So all cleaned up and ready for option two. A little more olive oil, of course. I love that you don't have to wait for the water to boil, like with pasta. I am not a patient person. I am not a patient cook. I will poke at the meat that's cooking, disturb it, just kind of think it's supposed to be doing something, and it isn't. So this is so fast, I really like it. Garlic and shallots in. Soften those up. And zoodles in. And five minutes again. So we are almost at the five minute mark. Got our salt again. Pepper. And Parmesan cheese. Wanted to mention these bowls. The one with the garlic and shallots as well as this one with cheese were made by my mom. Very cute. Little flour in the bottom there. Mixing again. Do a little more cheese. Got a lot more browning on the garlic and the shallots, but that is okay with me. Get a little caramelization. And I think we're good. That is a scary pan to clean up. So yay, my favorite part, tasting. Have to, have to do it. This is the clam sauce version. I'm Italian, so I'm supposed to know how to do this, even though it's not easy, so. Mm. I'm a big fan of the canned clam sauce. I have no problem with that at all, so I'm good with this. Uh, I think it's funny, there's actually a Korean phenomenon called mukbang, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's a combination of mukja and bangsong, or bangsong, which is uh, mukja is eating and bangsong is broadcasting. So just people who film themselves eating and get popular by people watching that. So next one is parmesan and shallot and garlic. Yum. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big bite of that one. I think that's uh, my favorite, but definitely both were easy and both are pretty good. So thanks for watching. Um, it's my first cooking video. Let me know in the comments what you thought, if you liked it, if you thought it was crazy, uh, if you want to see more. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll do another one. So thanks for watching.